Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's Wednesday the 27th of January and we have new mods. We have some updates. The updates are as follows. From top left, No Man's Land Map by Alien Jim, the SIP Pioneer 20 by BGamer003, the Bergman HTW65 by Lexic Agro Modding and Agro Technic Nord Eiffel, the Vehicle Hanger Pack by Chris CJ Farming, the Big Sheep Shed by SN Modding, Why the Farm Shed Pack by Missy B, and the Racking Storage by Missy B, plus, according to the Mod Hub, not the website, Oak Hill, the map by Lancy Boy has also had an update. That should be all of the updates for today. So in front of me, we're going to start off with the doormat. This is by Missy B. It is 0 0.13 megabytes download, one slot on console. Welcome. This you'll find. It's under placeables, under farmhouses. Hundreds to buy. A bit like the uh, one from Alien Gym. Just with a bit more detail on it. Helps you to have a sleep trigger pretty much wherever you want on a map. When you go onto it, I'm not tired at the moment, but if I was, I could skip through time on that. That's the first one. That's by Missy B. Next up, we've got the Medium Hall. This is by Tom Sky and David Davids, I think it is. David Davids. 2.65 uh, megabytes download, four slots on console, nicely detailed, shelter at one end, openable on the inside. Nice sound effect. We do have lighting. I'm getting into the habit now of turning the lights on. <laughs> so I remember they've got lighting when I find it. I don't always find the lighting, but when I do, I try to remember to leave it on. For storing whatever you wish to store in there. It's under placeables and sheds. Medium haul, 50,000 to buy. Once you bought the first one, it goes down from four slots down to one. Next, we have got this. This is the workshop with machine storage. This by Gamer HZS. It is 7.77 .77 megabytes download, 31 slots on console. Lots of detail. We've got a covered shelter this end. We've got four openable doors for putting vehicles, pallets, bales, whatever you want into. Now, this is one I can't get the light switches to work. I've tried coming at this from every angle possible. I don't even think it, it has them on the inside. But on the outside, there are lights. So I'm assuming these are automatic. As we come round... Actually, I'm going to check on the website just next to me. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. It says night lighting, so yeah, I assume it's automatic. And then around the back, we've got the workshop. I only went to try and find the lighting because the, the light coming from that side, the actual workshop was sort of in darkness on this side. But the workshop triggers here, and it does extend out a little way, so for larger vehicles, you should be fine for um, doing your repair work and stuff. Lots of detail. Very nice indeed. This is under placeables and miscellaneous. Workshop with machine storage, 9,500. Once you bought the first one, drops down to two slots. I am back on no man's land, in case you haven't noticed. <laughs> um, I tried Eureka, but obviously there was the problem with, you know, we couldn't work out with seeders and planters what the correct fill um, items were. Then I tried Big Fields Farm, uh, but the lighting was just off. I, I couldn't get when i was looking around them i don't know there were no shadows i just couldn't get it to work right for me personally so i'm back on no man's land it just works better so here we've got next the german gas station by tf 2020 mods 0 0.94 megabytes download three slots on console really nicely detailed now it only does diesel it does have diesel bio super e10 and super e5 there um this is just for filling up. That's that's obviously decorative. Very nicely detailed, though. Very clear. I thought I'd bring a, a tank just over, just to double check. 
I'd hate to say, oh yeah, it's fine, and then it doesn't work. There you go. We are being charged, and we are filling up. I think that'll do. I don't want any more. Thank you very much. So, stop there. This you'll find, I think this was also under placeable some miscellaneous. There you go, 15,000 to buy. And after the first one, three slots, it drops down to one. Moving on, from that we have got cow shed. This is the cow shed, three plus zero it says. This by DMI 20mm Normandy. It is 14.08 megabytes download, 16 slots on console. It will hold 80 cows. Manure is cleaned out automatically and comes into the manure bunker just here. Slurry is here if we press circle, opens the cover. We've got a watery slurry tank there, but that's where we get our slurry from. Straw is deposited through this doorway here in the middle, which is closable, which I should have done. <laughs> if we go in from the side here, as we get further along, our feed trigger is here. Our water trigger is a bit further up here. And we come round to the end, our milk trigger for collecting our milk is round here on the end. This one's just here. For, I'm terrible. Look, left all the doors open. Now, I couldn't find a light switch on here. I was looking to see if the blinds opened at the side. And often you'll get a light switch down the side. I couldn't find one. We do have lights, but again, this is another one I'm assuming. It's automatic at night because I can't can't find one anywhere. Again, it just seemed very dark in here when I came in. I mean, dark is a relative term. It's not pitch black, is it? But Nice, neat, tidy, straightforward. Very detailed. Looks very nice. Takes up a bit of space, and it would help if it's flatter. Then you won't be charged a huge amount for landscaping. This you'll find under placeables and animal pens. There you go. Cowshed 3 plus 0. 160,000 to buy. And it was, how many slots did I say? It was 16, which has now dropped down to 1 as well. There we go. Next. We've got this little beauty. I love it. Looks absolutely brilliant. This is the Storm 1051 Grain Storm by JHHG Modding. 12.59 megabytes download, 21 slots on console. It's an auger wagon. Takes regular auger wagon crops. There's quite a few options available on this with decals and stuff. What I loved, what really caught my attention was this. The walking tandem wheels. Now, unfortunately, they don't work. It is aesthetic. But in the real world, they actually walk. You can adjust those axles independently. So if you get stuck at an obstacle or an object or something, you can actually walk the wheels over something. It's designed for going over so it doesn't get stuck on objects, whatever it might be. Um, I just thought it was a really cool feature. I really like that. Very patriotic if you're from the US. Nicely made, nicely detailed. So, this you'll find under tools and auger wagons. So, 1051 Grain Storm requires 225 horsepower. It's got a 37,001 litre tank. Not sure why it's got a one litre extra. As I said, it will be 21 slots. That drops down to two. It takes your regular auger wagon things, including seed and fertiliser. Options available. We can change the main colour from green to red to blue to black. Rim colour, we can have white. Storm Original Old White. And then Storm Original Grey. Then we've got the option of Michelin, Mitres, Storm Manufacturing Tracks. The crawler track looks great. I always love a crawler track on an auger wagon. They're just Or chaser bin, depends how you refer to it. So back to Michelin, we've got the option of Wide. The Twins. Wides. I thought we had more options on that. Oh, maybe it's the Mitres that have got more options. Could well be. But yeah, 
That's a nice option, just because it's different. Uh, then under Mitus, yes, wide, wider, widest. I mean, that's a big old chunky tyre on that, isn't it? Very cool. Like that? I'm really confused now. Did I miss it? I'm sure. No, it's just those. I thought there were more options. Anywho, then we've got the option of decals. Decal one, two, three, and back. Then cover. Yes or no? Like so. They have dropped another map as well today. Dutch Colony by Dutchfield. I'm never going to get a Let's Play done this week. There's been just maps and mods and placeables and packs and DLCs. And, oh, I can't keep up. So, cover open. Like so. Pipe out. Like so. I don't know what it is about. I'm mesmerised by those twin wheels. I don't know why. It's very peculiar. I just am. Um, if I open up the help menu, there, there is no option on there. If I do L1, that option there, right stick side to side, does the spout. The nozzle on the end of the auger. Just that. R1 options, honk and stop engine. L1, R1, unload here and like so. But there isn't any option to actually get those wheels to walk. But never mind, it looks good anyway. Pipe in, engine off. There you go, that's the Storm 1051 Grain Storm by JHHG Modding. Next, we've got this. I'm gutted by this one, I'll be honest. This is the Transport Trailer MD. This is by Holtz FS. It is 8.64 megabytes download, 10 slots on console. It comes in a 8, 10 and 12 meter, I think it is. Now, it does say on the website it, it was originally designed for transporting planters. The pictures on the website uh, show it with a cedar on the back and then it shows it with vehicles on the back. So then it goes on to say, but it can also have other applications. Now, it has straps. It's quite half the ground, but when you attach to it, you can lower it down to the ground to put things onto this. Now, the website also shows pictures of vehicles on here and cedars with yellow chocks up against the wheels. I'm assuming that's for PC. I can't find those yellow chocks anywhere. I've looked all over the place. I've looked in miscellaneous, I've looked under the low loader section, I've looked under placeables, I've looked under pallets, I've looked everywhere. I can't find those yellow chocks. So I'm assuming we haven't got those on console. Now the problem with that being is that the locking script on this isn't very good. I put a seed on the back to try it and then went to attach the straps. The straps don't go over the cedar, they just went under it. I turned round in the yard to come out and the cedar flew off the side. So I also bought out a forklift truck. We'll have a look at those trailers in it. Well, that also, when I broke, slid across the deck as well. So I think the only thing at the moment with the straps that it's got on it, we could put bales on it or pallets and strap those down. But as for kind of locking vehicles and planters and stuff on, Unless you're using ones that specifically allow to be strapped down. And there are a few mods that do allow that. It's a nice looking trailer. Nice length to it. Um, anyway, yeah, I just... Yeah. I'm not knocking the modder. I'm just going by what the pictures were on the website. I was looking at the pictures as I was downloading the stuff, thinking, oh, fantastic, this is going to be brilliant. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't couldn't find them. I did wonder if there was different options in here. But we can change the main colour to any one of those four. Like so. We can have it 8 metre, 10 or 12. And then back again. So it's not like there's an option that one is bales, one's for transport. That That's what you get. And like I say, I have looked all over the place, couldn't find um, anything else. But what we'll do is hook up L1 and X lowers the whole platform down to the ground and we had a smaller one like this was it black sheet modding that we got it from that had little things that went over the top of a vehicle and then you strapped over the top of it um, and then you put on whatever you want and yeah so unless I have missed them unless, unless they're somewhere really obvious if there are if they are and you're on console let me know just put it in the comments I, I, I personally just couldn't find them 
um, and then L1 and X lift it up. We can do straps on and off from in-cab, or we can do them individually if we want to. It has a very tight turning circle, which is pretty cool as well, because that whole thing, not only off the back of the tractor, will turn, but then it's got a pivot on the front there, which is very nice indeed. So, that's that one. That's by Holtz FS. Moving on to the next one. We have got this. This is the Lemken D24. This is by Adub Modding ABP team. 2.2 megabytes download. Two slots on console. It's a one meter, I think. Can I lift that? Seriously. Oh, well. Wow. <laughs> cool. I wonder if we can plough by hand. No. I can't lower it. <laughs> that would be interesting, wouldn't it? A bit of hand ploughing. Anywho, uh, this you will find under tools and ploughs. There you go. 600 to buy. 10 horsepower required, 1 metre wide, runs at 9 miles per hour. There are no options, you get it in... Well, it's Lemkin, it's almost a, it's a lilac -y kind of colour, a purpley lilac. I mean, I'm pretty sure by now you know what a plough does, but, you know, it doesn't hurt to see him being used. Drop it into the ground. It's going to take a while doing a field, one this size, but that's what it's for. That's what it does. That's by Adub Modding and ABP team. Next up, I think you can you can create fields with that as well, but again, that would take a while to create fields. We've got the OP2000. This is a fertilizer or herbicide sprayer. Fairly basic design, as in the design of it, not the mod. Box section, you can imagine this being kind of put together by a farmer in his, you know, in his spare time in his garage, grabbed a tank and then just kind of made it all work kind of thing. I'm not saying that is how it was, it's, it may well be a company that makes these. 11.77 megabytes download, six slots on console. This by Hashtel Mods and Pisa PL. I think it's a... 15 metre, if I recall correctly. This you'll find under crop protection. 7,000 to buy, yeah, 15 metre width, 2,000 litre tank. It will run at 6 miles per hour and it will do herbicide or fer liquid fertiliser. Options available. We can change the main colour, which changes the tank colour, like so. Rim colour, we've got a choice of anything on that palette, so we can change the rim colour. And then design colour changes the framework. We've got a whole selection of reds. Like so. Those are the options. We open it up. Oh, I like the way it kind of turns on in sections, so it will be pumping from the inside out. That's pretty cool. Can we raise and lower it? That's as low as it goes, but it can go higher. Like so. Oh, I want to see that again. That's cool. It's a simple thing, but it just, you know, I like that. Doesn't seem to be using a huge amount either as we go across the field. And turns off in sections too. That's brilliant. Just for that animation alone. Love it. That's the OP2000 by Hashtel Mods and Pisa PL. Next, we have got the Amazon ZGB6001. Now this is, or we've got two of them, a fertiliser or lime spreader. Let's hop out and have a look. There you go, ZGB6001. Uh, this is by Matthew FS, 6.75 megabytes download, 15 slots on console for the first one. Ah, oh, this could be one of the ones that had a few different tyre options, I think. That might have been what I was thinking about when I was thinking about the Orca Wagon. I went for different options on this. This one's got a cover, that one hasn't. This one's got one style of tyre, the other one hasn't. One's fertiliser, one's lime. But I wanted to see what the spread widths were to see if the fertiliser and the lime were the same. Sometimes lime is narrow in its spread width when it gets put on the ground. Nice looking mod. This you'll find under fertiliser technology. 
There you go, 21,700. 6,000 litre tank, 110 horsepower required to pull it. It will run at 9 miles per hour, and it says it's got an 18 metre spread width. So we'll see if both the spread widths are the same as best as we can tell. Options available. We've got the option of Trelleborg or Michelin. Then we've got standard, wide, wider, wider, widest, and then back again. And then under Michelin, standard, wide, wide, and back again. Nice big chunky tyres on those. Uh, then design, standard or type 1. Oh, that was inside, wasn't it? Yeah. So standard is like that. Type 1 is that when you put stuff in, it breaks it all up. So if you've got lime and stuff, it's not all clumped. It should go through that sieve and then spread better. Or we've got type 2, which puts in same similar sort of thing, but um, just hits that middle section and goes out. Then back to standard. Then cover, yes or no. Those are our options. Did I connect to it and disconnect all in one go? That was brilliant. That's interesting. Because that says it's 18 metres, right? Look at the one next to it that we just used. It said it was 15 metres. They look the same width. They absolutely look the same width. Hmm interesting so that's the fertilizer i need to move over a little bit for the line got quite a few months again today it's certainly making me earn my, earn my keep this week <laughs> no much narrower so, the lime is narrower than the fertiliser. There you go. Like I say, this one I went for a slightly different design. I went for a different tyre option. No cover. I think the inside, although you can't see it, I went for the different types of inside on this as well. Um, but there you go. That's the Amazon ZGB 6001 by Mephew FS. Next... We've got this, or these, should I say. Um, this is the Decompactor Combined Drigo. This is by RL Modding and FSI Group. 7.6 megabytes download, six slots and six slots. This is a three meter wide subsoiler, which is this section here, incredibly well detailed. Loads going on there. And then we've got this section here which can attach to it. Now this says if you attach this to it, you get a fertilising state as well. Which got me thinking. Okay, so that's three metres, that's three metres. That's got a three point link front and rear to allow you to attach to the both together. But could you use that with something else that's also three metres? So I grabbed one of these as well, just to, to check and see. Also I wondered, can they be used independently? So could you just get a fertilising state, just using that on its own, without using that? I'm pretty sure this is a fairly high horsepower requirement as well, if I recall. So under subsoilers, yeah, we've got the Dr Drigo Compactor, 16,000 to buy, 305 horsepower required. It'll run at seven miles an hour. It is three meters wide, and like I say, six slots for that, and then it drops down to one. Then the disc root breaker, which says used combined with the Drigo Decompactor, it adds a fertilization stage. Now, options available, there are none, you get it in that red. Now, it could be that I won't get the fertilising state when I use it with that one, but I thought I'd give it a go. So, like I said before, it doesn't hurt, does it? So what I'll do is go forward a little bit. Let's just... Now, you have to turn it on. You notice I turned it on? Drop it down. And we're getting a fertilising state. So, it's set to go behind because the fertilising state would occur after like behind that piece of kit but i am getting a fertilizing state if i go forward now without it turned on i'm not getting a fertilizing state so it actually has to be turned on to get that fertilizing state so what we'll do is lift it up we'll hook up to the other section you might need a front weight depending on what you're using that said it's got to be over 305 horsepower anyway so once they're hooked up like so 
if I just open up my help menu, the decompactor needs to be unfolded. So you unfold the decompactor like so. Then switch back, drop the whole lot down. And what should happen now is, as we go forward, we are subsoiling and getting the fertilising state at the same time. Now can I turn that off? There you go. You notice it's much darker before. Now I've turned off the fertilising section. It's still subsoiling but I'm not getting the fertiliser with it as well. It is important as well that that rear section, the decompactor, if I raise that up, you know, raise that up, if I fold the decompactor like that, if I leave it folded and don't unfold it, if I drop the whole lot down, it doesn't go into the ground. So you won't get any, you won't get any um, subsoiling at all. It needs to be unfolded for that to work. Unfold decompactor, and it will go into the ground no problem at all. Right, so what we're going to do now... Let's disconnect that. Let's hook it up to the, the other one, and just see if it will work. Just keep out of curiosity. I know it works on its own. It does. Now, the difference being the decompactor cultivates what I've got on the back of there is the Agrisem Combi Plough Gold, which gives me a ploughed state, but I'm still getting fertilising state as I go as well, so it can hook up to multiple things. There we go. That's rather cool. And for those three metre aficionados out there, right up your street. So, the decompactor combined. Drigo by RL Modding and FSI Group. What do we have now? Ooh, these are nice. <laughs> this is the TLX 48 foot enclosed trailer by 82 squared studio uh, Zanarco. This is designed to go with the TLX 9000 lorry, but it'll work with any lorry, of course. Loads of options available on this, as you might have seen from the thumbnail. Curtain cider, plus look at that, fancy. That one I've gone for a solid side. We can have it with an openable one with ramps. We can have it openable with a tail lift. Um, we can have it with standard doors. We can have all sorts of options available. It is a very, very, very nice mod, indeed. It's this I like. I know a lot of people have been talking about, and I'm going to forget the name of it. Sorry, Jamie. Um, is it Morello? Not Morello. Is it Morello? Moretti, something like that. Um, that has the forklift truck attached on the back of the lorry, so that you uh, you take you know you drop the forklift off and you can use that in operation with the trailer. I think that would be so cool if we got one of those. Anyway, these look very very nice. Some very very cool options. There are tension straps inside. Um, now, obviously, the full sided, solid sided one would mean you've got to come in from the back if you're going to do any loading or unloading. The curtain cider. You won't have to, you come in from the sides, but obviously you can't get into the sides of this one. You can put vehicles in it if you want to, because you can have one with ramps. Um, you can do all sorts of very, very cool stuff. And these aren't just the two, I mean, John Deere and Case, the two brands, but there's some TLX ones and some 82 Studios and the Lawn Care stuff. There's a whole load of options. Anyway, let's get on that and have a look, shall we? So under trailers, there you go, the TLX 48 foot enclosed trailer. Now, this is... 24.74 megabytes download, 24 slots on console for the first one, which I personally think is absolutely worth it. Now, we've got the trailer, standard. We can change the rim colour. We have got stainless steel, there's a dark steel, aluminium, chrome and polished. Then we get onto some coloured ones, and with these coloured ones they are in blocks of three, so you kind of get a standard colour, a Saturday finish, and I think... A chromed one? I think it's more chromed, isn't it? Um, so there are quite a few of those. Then as we get down to the bottom, we get some the more regular colours. That's for the rims. I've left it on the wrong one. Let's go for aluminium, for example. That'll do. Uh, then, main colour changes the bodywork. Now, one that I really did like. That colour looks brilliant. I do like that. 
Very cool. But again, have a play around. There are loads of colours and loads of options to choose from on there. I could spend half an hour just going through the colour options, which I'm not going to. Don't worry. Then design colour. Again, let's go for, say, orange. Now, that, to start off with, I'm trying to think what that was for now. My mind's gone completely blank now I'm on it. We'll see in a minute. Now, on the side, we've got rigid panels. So, you've got the, the standard box trailer. Or you can have the curtain side. So you've got the folding curtains. It automatically gives you a plasticky kind of look, slightly more wrinkled, and then back again. So those are your options, rigid panels or curtain side. Um, and then we've got metal frame. Ah, there we go. That was what it was, design colour. So you can go metal frame like so, or your design colour is what you can change the, the actual wall around the outside with. All the metal work around there if you want to then vinyls we've got plain vinyl we've got the 82 squared logistics we've got 82 squared lawn care jack moose john deere case ih and then plain i thought it was another one am i going mad i thought it was a tlx one maybe not obviously you're going to want to match up the colors if you're going for john deere or case the other ones again you may want to go for you know, whatever or just have it plain it's entirely up to you uh, and then wheel set up. We've got standard. We've got black centre caps. We've got heavy duty. Knock-in. Knock-in heavy duty. Then we've got the standard with an extra axle. Let me go for the same option, options. Black centre cap, heavy duty. Knock-in. Knock-in heavy duty. Back to standard again. Then we've got floor type, which at the moment inside you can't see, but we've got wood. Diamond plate, steel. And back to wood again. Then we've got swing doors, which is what that's showing at the moment on the back. Swing doors with ramps, roll-up door, roll-up door and lift gate, roll-up door and ramps, back to swing doors again. So quite a few options available. All of them very, very cool. So, I know I'm gushing over it, I just, I, I really do, I, I like this a lot. I, I think the design of it and the back and that. We've got lights down the side, running lights at the back and, you know, very nice. I'm going to open the help menu because I want to. This one has got a roller door and ramps. I went for in this one. So extend loading ramps L1 and X. Opens the rear shutter. Nice animation. And it puts the ramps on like that, which reminds me a little bit of Knight Rider. I know there were more straight down ramps, but you've got ramps for access for putting vehicles in. It does have straps inside as well, so you can put pallets and all sorts of stuff in if you want to. This one, I think I went for diamond plate. I'm pretty sure I went for diamond plate. Yep, diamond plate on the floor in the back of this one. But that's cool. And then this one is the curtain cider. This one, went, I went with the roll-up door and the drop deck on the back. So, enable loading platform. Opens the roller, opens the loading platform, like so. Now, L1 and right stick, side to side, raises and lowers that. You can get it down to whatever point you want. If you go too far, it kind of lifts the whole back up. Depends on what ground you're putting onto. And then, because it's on the same stick, that lift axle, if you've got the lift axle, L1 and right stick up and down, raises and lowers that lift axle, but unless you get it exactly spot on, you'll end up moving the rear ramp as well, but you know, it will do both. So it raises that up into position, so whatever you've got on there, I used a skid sill loader, I tried to use a forklift, it wasn't quite long enough for a forklift truck, um, unfortunately. That one's got a wooden floor inside, as you can see, straps on and off, but you can do those manually. Now, curtain cider, open cover, if I do L1 and left on the D-pad, he opens the left side. If I do L1 and left on the D-pad again, it closes the left side and opens the right side. I love the way it closes up the case logo as well. It's brilliant. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Uh, and then if I press it again, it starts to close that one and then opens them both, so you can load in from both sides. Like so.
Now I know we have already got we have had a curtain side already, haven't we? Um, I think this might have been while I was away on holiday. Not on holiday. When I, oh yeah, when I was away. Seems like an age ago, but that is just. I like it. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> I mean, both options. I mean, you can have curtain sided with these ramps, curtain sided with that, without opening doors. You know, there are so many different options. But a very cool mod indeed. That. Um, that's the TLX 48 foot enclosed trailer by 82 Studio. Cool. Which brings me on to the last of the mods for today, I believe. Unless they don't to me again, but they brought out something else while I've been in the middle of doing the mods. I really, really hope not. Uh, this is the John Deere 1270G by Woodcraft Modding. This is... Oh no, there's another one I've just remembered. Sorry, they did release something. Um, this is, yeah, we're at 25 megabytes download, 36 slots on console. It is a tree harvester. Incredibly nicely detailed. Some nice functions, some great animations. Now, you might not do forestry, in which case at this point you may decide, oh, I'm not bothered anymore. That's up to you. Again, you're entitled to drop in and out as you wish. But it's a very nice looking mod, this. Now, I thought we'd already had a 1270G. But if we had, I don't think it's like this one. Could be misremembering. I do that a lot. So, under vehicles and forestry machines... We've got the 1270G, it's 437 grand, 268 horsepower, runs at 40 miles per hour. 36 slots for the first one, which drops down to two. Options available. Whoa. We've got Trelleborg, standard tyres. We've got Ollis Fours, you can have Ecotrack. Hang on. Ecotrack, Evo Baltic, Magnum, Kovacs. And then we have on the front the tracks and on the back tyres. Eco Track, Evo Baltic, Magnum, Kovacs, and then back again. And then we've got the option of knock ins, standard, and those knobbly ones. And then reverse tread on the knobbly ones. But only on the front axles on both, not the rear axles. Wouldn't that be fighting against each other? Or is that for better grip? Slightly peculiar. Anyway, design, standard. With rear protection around the engine compartment bay, you can have cab protection. Or both or all off I would say if you have the protection the cab protection it does obscure your vision a little bit just saying and then we've got standard tank and I'm pretty sure it's around this side don't know why I went all the way around that way standard tank or we can have additional tanks so that's fuel capacity 390 liters Additional tank, 480 litres. So if you want to start doing forestry longer without needing to refuel, you can have the additional tank. Those are the options. So let's hop in. Horn. Lights. And it's bright lighting on this. Sounds really good as well. Now, I'm going to help me so I don't get this wrong. We can change the cut length. Now, I'm using my side panel. That's why there's numbers and letters and stuff there. If I press number nine on my side panel, I can change the cut length in half meter increments. So one, one and a half, two, two and a half, like that, all the way up to 20. So we can go up to 20 meter cut lengths. Now, it has been tested, and a lot of people will, will are still adamant eight meters is kind of seven or eight meters is the absolute pinnacle. Anything over and above that may look cool and you can stick whole logs on trailers. But I don't know if you get more... That's going to cause a whole lot of controversy. I know people are going to argue that, but that's just what I've been told. I did test it myself, but no one believed me, so... <laughs> Nothing unusual there. Um, now, L1, and right stick up and down, raises and lowers like so, and then right stick side to side, swings the actual head. You get a bit of lean on that with this, with this uh, swing of the... There's a little bit of lean there to the whole assembly. While you're doing that, the cab turns with you as well, so you can watch what you're doing, which is very nice. R1, and right stick side to side, extends like that. And right stick up and down, does that. It's got quite the reach on it. If I extend all the way out, that's madness. 
Then L1 and R1. So a little bit. L1 and R1 rotates the head. Up and down opens and closes it manually if you want to open and close it manually. And then with L1, R1 and left stick side to side you can tilt the head. Now I've always found that really, really useful because if a, if a tree falls out of the grab um, or you're picking up trees off the floor, you can drop this right down and then you can actually, when you get the cut option come up, you can pick trees off the floor, which is brilliant. I, I find that really, 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 how many times should I say really, really useful was what I was going to say. Um, I just keep saying really, really all the time. How, how helpful is that? Turning on and off like so if you don't do it manually. Now it does say here as well, control group crane. If I press triangle, control group extra functions. Now if I do L1, it gives me the option there for right stick up and down, which gives me the same function as we had before for raising and lowering, unless that's just, it only does that. Oh yeah, it just raises and lowers that, just tilts that forwards and backwards. That's the only other option I could find under extra, fun extra functions. Extra feng shui. Uh, so, options for camera. In cab, you see what I mean about the grill though? Cab protector, it's a little bit, restricts it a bit. And then we got by the head, which is actually very nice. But from in cab, like I said, if you turn, hang on, let's go L1 and right stick side to side. So as you're moving the crane head, you move with it. I like that, it's a nice camera angle. And then we've got the screen down in there, so if I change the cut length now, it should change on there too. There you go. Changes the cut length all the way up and down so you can see that too. Very nice. Now, Interesting. Why am I not getting cut come up? Still not. Why is that not giving me up? Oh, there we go. Well, that's a fast saw. It will do the job, certainly. Close that up. Turn it off. Lights off. Very nice bit of kit, that. There you go. So that's the John Deere 1270G by Woodcraft Modding. Last mod, I, I realised there was something I'd forgotten that wasn't showing on the website but was in the mod hub. And it's these. This is the Lizard Pack by M, is it Mo, Mo 6R, 7.59 megabytes download. We have got two Silage Shield levelers. We've got the Silage Shield 300, the Silage Shield 400, and we have got a weight as well. Each one of these is four slots. I think they only come in red, pretty sure. But weirdly, in the Mod Hub store, they both say three meters. That's three, that's four. But they do say three for some reason, not quite sure why. Uh, you'll find these under tools and levelers for the levelers. So we go leveler 300 says three meters, leveler 400 says three meters, but it's definitely four. Options available on both of these. We can change the design color from red to galvanized. That is when you put the grid on, so standard or with grid, so the grid will be galvanised or red. I think I went with one of each. Same on the leveller, and then for the weights, you'll find that under weights, there you go, weight 3,000, so it's 3,000 kilograms, 2.9, uh, 2,950 to buy, um, and they're four slots each for the first one. There's no colour option on this either. You get it like so. Uh, what you have on each of these is the option to lift, tilt, and whatever you need to do with them. So we can go L1 and circle will automatically raise and lower. But L1 and right stick 
we can tilt forwards and backwards to get the angle just right, raise and lower manually if we want to, or just go back to the standard L1 and circle to raise and lower. And that's it for the mods for today, Wednesday the 27th of January. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, then give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.